And currently we are joined by Deepak Gore. Now he's the head of claims with Zurich Middle East. Uh, he's been with Zurich for over seven years and has over 20 years of experience in life insurance operations, underwriting and claims in India and the Middle East. Uh, welcome to the show, Deepak. Thank you very much. There That's has been a report that has just come out right. and it says Consumer Report unveils leading causes of life and critical illness claims in the Middle East. So in the last three years, Zurich has paid over 160 million US dollars in life and critical illness claims the highest payout since 2016 yep actually um, let me give you a bit of perspective about this particular report why we actually do this and Juric is a leading life insurance company in the region and we cover over 57 billion dollars of life at some assured at risk in this region alone right. which speaks of the significant trust shown in us mm -hmm. and therefore it is our responsibility to create that awareness around key health risk from our claims insights mm -hmm. and also educate our people on the need for financial protection in the region. Right. right. So what were the startling facts in the report that you noticed um, uh, and which is why in the study was taking place in the first place? Uh, actually we do it every year uh, and, and uh, just with the purpose of educating our people and few of the key facts out and there, there are quite a lot of takeaways but I'll let me list three three key findings and insights from the report first one out of four claims submitted was within three years of taking the policy and 85 percent of these were from the people mm. who were healthy at the time of taking the policy and they oh were gosh. accepted standard rates mm. Mm. 45% of all cancer claims in women mm -hmm. were due to breast cancer alone right, right. and heart attack stroke and cancer are the leading cause of our claims mm. and with your permission if I may just uh, speak a bit of more detail around this right, right. Uh, on on our death claims or almost 60% of our death claims and 90% of our critical illness claims were just due to heart attack stroke and cancer mm. and if I look at the gender wise split mm -hmm. mm. for men mm -hmm. mm. it's heart attack and stroke which is the leading cause okay. and for women it's cancer. In mm -hmm. fact, 85% of the critical illness claims in women right. are due to cancer alone. Mm. And as I said, majority are due to breast cancer. Mm. Gee. You know, Deepak, the, the, the concept of insurance, at least back in the days, was we will take an insurance when we come to mm. that age of mm. taking an insurance. Mm. Right. Now I think the time has changed. Roles have reversed. So what, in your opinion, is the right time for someone to go and obtain those insurance to make sure that they get the maximum benefit? And, you know, like with, with the report that you're just reading out, these are startling facts. Thank you for bringing this up, Muriel. This is very interesting and, and, and very close to me as well. Uh, I won't put a number to that uh, when we should actually take and, and, and start the insurance. It's never too early. Right. Uh, but I fully understand insurance is not at the forefront of our mind when we are young and healthy. Hmm. You know, these all young cool dudes <laughs> who who will have answer to every single thing from right simplest thing to the complex world of cryptos. <laughs> <laughs> but when sure. it comes to insurance, illi, <laughs> then, <laughs> right? So, uh, uh, and uh, let me tell you, and they feel like they're young and healthy, hmm. so they don't need insurance. And let me share with you, right. we've seen a death claim for a 27 year old hmm. who died due to an accident while on a fa vacation with the family mm. who on this world would have thought a 28 year old person dying mm. due to a heart attack massive heart attack at age 28 right mm. and this is not all like you know we paid critical illness a child critical illness claim for a two year old mm. due to rare cancer in child mm. and 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 we're seeing claims for younger individuals okay. on the critical illness slide the youngest being same 27 year old mm -hmm. who had an incidental finding of a growth on his body and, and during a routine medical health checkup mm -hmm. and unfortunately it was found to be cancerous right. the world turns upside down when you hear these words um, okay. Vivek uh, right. I will tell and, then, um, and you may argue that this is just an outlier mm -hmm. but average age of our critical illness claimant is just 49 years mm. Mm. that is very yeah. startling yeah. Yeah. exactly and 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 for death claims it's 54 years i mean mm. 
ಒಂದು ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಯರ್ ಟು ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಜ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸೇ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವರೇಜ್ ಏಜ್ ಬಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸೇ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದರ್ ಫಿನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಚ್ಚೆ ಕೋ ಬಾಹರ್ ಭೀ ಪಢಾನ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕವರ್ ಅಪ್ ದರ್ ಲೋನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ planning for retirement as well right so right. and then this shows that people are impacted in the prime productive years of their lives mm. so we need to act early right act early to protect ourselves mm-hmm. and our family our loved ones from the financial instabilities which will arise during these difficult period of our lives and right. also claim ki baat kare to 98% claim payout jo hai kafi high suna hai matlab lagta hai yeah. i mean you know depending given that the image yeah. people have about the industry ke pura paisa nahi milega once we invest and you know yeah. uh, so is that the industry standard in the region because it seems quite high uh, what i'll say vivek at jurek we believe in delivering our promises to the customers it's a commitment we have made with the policy holders at the time of taking the policy mm-hmm. and life mind at life insurance a long term contract mm-hmm. right and and we paid and we feel proud to have paid 98% of our claims mm-hmm. and it's been consistent mm-hmm. even in our last year also right. it was 98% mm-hmm. i think uh, i would say transparency is the key in ensuring our customers peace of mind mm-hmm. peace as in man ki shanti not peace but yeah peace of mind that's the key word yeah right right and what are the possible reasons according to you deepak ki wo claims reject hote hain because a lot of people will have this on mind ki agar humne insurance le bhi liya hai what are the chances end mein we will get our claims back or Only will this be rejected i'm in a very nice point and and I, what i'll say is we did we would have rejected a claim only due to lack of transparency mm-hmm. right as i highlighted just that transparency the key of peace of mind right mm. we need to be honest mm. and open at the time of taking the policy mm. we need to disclose our medical history lifestyle and family history right at the time of taking the policy right and and just like uh, we say right i mean always speak the truth and disclose everything to a lawyer or a doctor mm-hmm. <laughs> i think i'll add up life insurance application as well please be truthful while making disclosures at the time of application itself i can assure that the claims process would be seamless if there's no such thing happening when i wake up here this is daybreak with vivek sanil and muriel disar talk 100.3 ಡೇ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಚಲ್ ರಹಾ ಹೈ ವಿವೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂರಿಯಲ್ ಆಪ್ ಕೆ ಸಾಥ್ ಎಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಬೈ ದೀಪಕ್ ಗೌರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಜ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಜೋ ಹಮನೆ ದೇಖಾ ಜೋ ಆಪ್ಕ ಬತಾಯಾ ಹಮನೆ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥ್ರೀ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಜೋ ಜ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಜಿ ಬಿಲ್ಕುಲ್ ನಾವು ಟಾಕ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೀಪಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ಶೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ greatest investments that one could do for themselves when you think of investments you're thinking about securing your family but we never think about ourselves the importance of investment where an insurance is concerned i think uh, as i said like you know we need to act early we need to start uh, to protect ourselves and our family but against the financial instabilities and insecurities which might would arise in case of any such eventuality which would impact us mm. during our life mm. and it's not just for our family it's for us as well because in case we have any critical illness right it's not just about paying medical bills mm. there are a lot of things which gets closer to this we need to pay our home loan emis we need to pay our child's education fee we need to uh, pay our our rentals so we need to do a bit quite a lot of this thing so it's not just about keeping their medical fee, uh, you know cost at bay but it comes in overall lifestyle uh, which is gets impacted due to these uh, conditions which are impacting us so what would you say about the perception that people have where insurance claims are concerned and why do they take so long at times what is that procedure Uh, that an insurer must go through uh actually um we fully understand that when a claim is submitted the, our 
customer feels like you know the time taken to process that particular claim is of great importance to them and and we respect that mm. and and it's equally important to us as well and and today i feel proud to share that almost 90% of our claim paid were within 72 hours of receiving complete documentation mm. Mm. but we can do this only after we receive those complete up to date documentation regarding those claims mm. there are certain things which delays this particular process of submission and let me pick up one point is uh, appointment of beneficiary mm-hmm. like sometimes beneficiary is missing in a life insurance application and and in absence of a nomination we need to obtain legal and succession documents mm-hmm. probate from the court which is a time consuming process and involves cost as well and and god forbid if there's any dispute in the family mm-hmm. the wait would even be for the long so sometimes customer tend to undermine the importance of having a beneficiary and not just in life insurance i think this is applicable in all kind of financial investments which somebody would be having having a beneficiary is going to be always helpful and then our ref- stats reflect that for policies where there are no beneficiary nomination the time taken to prepare and submit those claim document is three times more than the policies where there have been a nomination in place mm-hmm. so please ensure that we have complete nomination right. up to date in our policies right. and also when you are struck by certain tragedies as well uh, wo time pe aapka you know dimag nahi exactly. chalta wo time pe uh, so it's very important to follow the process and be associated with a trusted uh, insurance provider as well पर ऑल्सो वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू यू नो नो कि अगर हार्ट अटैक्स या स्ट्रोक्स बहुत अर्ली एज पे आ रहे हैं फॉर मैन एंड फॉर वुमेन एट अ वेरी अर्ली एज कैंसर हो रहा है देन वॉट आर दोज लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस दैट वी रियली नीड टू थिंक अबाउट दिस अ ग्रेट पॉइंट एक्चुअली विवेक आई थिंक दिस this is this warrants a strong call to action for mm. each one of us for each one of the listeners I would say I know there have been a lot of awareness talk around our physical fitness and mm. people are talking about uh, starting some some hobbies and right. awareness you a government is work doing life their, balance work life balance you yeah. a government doing their bit by 30 day challenge and Correct. everything that's very good but we need to continue with that thing right as i mean i don't want to sound like i am preaching here but <laughs> just 30 minutes of moderate physical exercise right. can improve our cardiovascular fitness mm. and also develop strong immunity I mean, I I, I know we chawan prash khate hain, biloy khate hain, but khane se kuch nahi hoga. Saath mein we need to make some efforts. And 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 in addition to that, I would say, let's continue to have our periodic routine medical checkups. Important, yeah. Uh, because this gives a perspective in terms of God forbid if there is anything, hmm. we come to know right at the early stage. Especially if we look at the cancer stats for women, hmm. breast cancer. Hmm. I think. can't undermine the importance of regular breast screening and wellness checkup for women right. if we come to know in advance of anything doctors can make good a uh, treatment and options around that particular case mm-hmm. and so let's ensure that we take good care of ourselves and imbibe those healthy uh, lifestyle changes mm-hmm. and and any small positive change in our lifestyle can significantly reduce the chances of us getting these so called lifestyle diseases like hypertension diabetes mm-hmm. to name a few right right so right now deepak you know when i am to fill an insurance form correct yeah. what are those um fine prints that i must be aware of because bhar to dete in the end then we realize we've made a huge blunder by not reading the form correctly or exactly. filling information that i thought was relevant but actually is not when i've submitted it a very valid point company. muriel i think uh, please refer the terms and conditions know what you are actually getting into what you're signing under the print right right please read your terms and conditions and then be aware that what you are disclosing in the application form is important and will make a significant difference at the time of claims mm. if you have any medical history family history or any lifestyle things we need to make adequate disclosures right up front at the time of application itself just taking a no box in all the questions will not help because you want the insurance faster so you exactly. just click a tick a no but that will create problem at the time of claim stage you don't your beneficiary knows that you have taken a policy but they don't know what you have filled up 
and at the time of claims they are expecting a money from us uh, which is due but if there are any kind of findings like you know a non disclosure mm. found at the time of claims may impact the decision right so the entire amount um, is let gone is, is that is that been a case where that has also happened that has happened uh, if definitely just in case somebody forgets to disclose if he had underwent a cardio bypass surgery no that's a huge five, thing you should five, reveal it yeah. within 6 months or 1 year of us uh, like you know taking a policy and mm. somebody forgets to say that uh, they had a breast cancer history mm. and 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 just an excuse of forgetting that thing is not acceptable it's right? not acceptable oh. let's say continue karenge baat but also you know it's our responsibility to take care of ourselves of course but also our uh, you know hamare ghar paise agar aapko bhejne hain back home since we are all responsible for that as well you can send money to your loved one safe and fast zyada details ke liye lm branches aap ja sakte hain they known for 50 plus years of trusted service they're operating in ue since 1917 uh, 1970 opening soon in crown mall jabalali This is Talk 100.3. Welcome to Daybreak with Vivek Sanal and myself, Mural Disa. Still in conversation with Deepak Gore, head of claims with Zurich Middle East. We're talking to you, Deepak, about insurances. Now, let's talk to you about if I have to acquire an insurance, what is the way forward and the five top things that I must bear in mind? Right. Um, if I have to pick up the top five, first thing, choose the right partner. insurance is a long term contract and i would say trust and reputation is the key so please do your due diligence and select the right partner number 2 sir select the right plan and the right level of cover mm. at the time of policy okay and please con- i i would suggest please connect with your financial advisor who would advise you a proper policy and the level of cover depending on your financial needs mm. Number three, I would list: be transparent and honest about your disclosures at the time of application. Okay. Please note it's a long-term contract, and trust and transparency is the basis of our contract. Number four, please refer to the terms and conditions. Read them carefully mm-hmm. before you opt for a policy, and don't forget to appoint a beneficiary. That's very important. And and if I have to add up six, I think uh, I'd say. after taking the policy continue to evaluate your life insurance need at regular intervals mm. what mm. we what took what does this mean what we took 5 years or 10 years back okay. may not hold good on today's date mm. see yeah, for example yeah. i just realized i mean when i was talking to you muriel and vivek uh, i'm though i'm still a young chap of 46 year old but <laughs> but um, when i talk about these financial uh, dependencies um my son goes in 12th grade uh, next year and i need to plan for his higher education correct mm. yeah. i'm already taking paying a l- big home loan emi and then though i've taken an insurance to cover that thing mm-hmm. number 3 i plan to retirement uh, for around age 55 and need to plan for it and then this is during this show i think i realized that it's time for me to really connect with my financial advisor mm. and revisit my existing insurance cover which was mm. initially taken for the needs at that particular point of time and now i think my needs have shaped uh, into a new uh, mm-hmm. things now and and i think i need to review mm-hmm. and evaluate my existing insurance that's very important and key right thank you so very much any closing remarks i mean we've almost reached the end of the show right now uh i'll just close by saying a life worth living is a life worth insuring mm-hmm. it's never too late please contact your financial advisor and start that meaningful conversation now and be ready for life thank Super. you so beautiful Amazing. thank you so very much deepak for you know coming to our studios and giving such great insights i into, opener yeah it was it, it was like startling i opener I mean. now <laughs> thank you thank, <laughs> thank you real thank you vivek thank thanks you for so having much. me here it's my pleasure